Okay, now it's time to talk about the experiment a little bit and see what happened. And of course you can see the stack of papers on the camera right now. And the whole purpose of this experiment was to determine how one round would penetrate relative to the other rounds. The stack of paper, of course, does not simulate that of a human body, of a bad guy per se. Uh, a body containing tissue, flesh, water, and bones. That's not my purpose. I just want to see which round penetrates better than another because penetration is important when we're talking about stopping power and if one round penetrates better than another round on this paper we can then say that it's also going to be the same more than likely on a on a bad guy now on the stack of papers here you can see the hollow points the various hollow points there okay and here's testing the penetration of a nine millimeter Okay, now for the 40 SNW. Okay, we might as well switch into the 45 real quick. 45 ACP. Okay, we're out. Let's see how it penetrated. Okay, we found the nine millimeter. Looks like the 40 penetrated fur the furthest. <laughs> it's almost about the same distance. Mm -hmm. I would say the 40 was a little bit further than the 9 millimeter. Ooh, that's hot too. Okay, the, the 40 definitely made the deepest hole in this. Um, actually, I'm not too surprised at that because the 40 SW ammo I'm using has more muzzle energy than the 45 ACP. So that would make sense that it would penetrate further. And you can kind of tell that it's still dented a bit here, so the 45 got more penetration than the 9mm. Actually, it looked like the yeah the 45 did get more. Look. Actually, it looks like the nine millimeter got a little further penetration than the 45. That's what I would think. But not much. Yeah, because you can tell right here, there's a little bit of tearing left due to the nine millimeter. And the 45 you don't even see on there anymore. Okay, for this round of testing, we're going to use solid 
ammo, full metal jackets, and we'll start with the 9mm, work our way up again, and I'm going to shoot below the existing bullet holes. Here we go. Okay, now for the 40. Now for the 45. Okay, now we can see how those rounds penetrated. They did fragment a little bit. Still kind of hot. Okay, it looks like the 9mm penetrated further than the 40 with the solid ammo. Yeah, because you can still see a little bit of the 9mm here, where the 40 is gone. You know what, the 45 out penetrated everything. Yeah, because here's the hollow point 45 and then the solid full metal jack 45, and it's still going past all of the other solid jacketed bullets. So the 40 penetrated the least, then the 9mm, and then the 45. And for the heck of it, we're going to try a round of 9mm plus P plus, and I'll just shoot it above the 9mm written on there. See how well that penetrates. It kicked a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. And that definitely penetrated further than anything. Wow, look how that fragmented too. Well, expanded. Oh yeah. Well, definitely fragmented. Look, that's all that's left. The, yeah, that's all left to that plus P plus. It really fragmented and expanded. Okay, just for the heck of it, uh, I want to go ahead and try the Full Metal Jacket uh, cheap target practice rounds again. And we'll do the 9, 40, 45. And probably, just so you can kind of tell, the 9 millimeter. I'm going to have to shoot kind of to the top left since we tried that plus P plus round. So let's go ahead and see what we find out again. <laughs> Nine millimeter out. Onto the 40. And then lastly, the 45. And let's see what that reveals. Ooh, that's extremely hot, that 45 round. All that friction caused by penetrating the paper, it really heated up.
awfully hot out today. It's the 40. Okay, this time around we have the the 45 stopping around right around in here. So the 45 penetrated the least. Okay, there's the nine millimeter. Oh wait a minute. Oh, wait. Yeah, the 45 actually penetrated the least. Then we had the nine millimeter. And in this case, the 40 actually penetrated a little bit further. Um, so we have different results out of the full metal jackets than we had the first time. And I'm sure, of course, some of this is due to the fact that maybe I'm not shooting exactly perpendicular to the ground. I mean, I'm not saying that everything's perfect in this experiment, but I did want to kind of get a trend going on. Okay, and just so you, you guys know, the 9mm today was shot from a high point model C9 9mm pistol. The 40 s and w ammo was shot from a Glock 23 pistol. And lastly, the 45 was shot from a high point 45 JHP model pistol. Now the first ammo that we shot today was the 9mm. And you can see here, I was using Remington Golden Sabre and it was a 124 grain bullet rated at a muzzle velocity of around 11 25 feet per second which would give it a muzzle energy around 349 foot pounds okay so 349 now the next round it was the 45 acp round okay so the remington golden saber 45 uh, just standard 45 acp ammo and that's a 185 grain bullet traveling at 1000 15 feet per second from muzzle and it has about 423 foot-pounds of force at the muzzle okay and I forgot to mention uh, the plus P plus 9 millimeter round that I was firing it's federal brand it comes in a white box and I don't have the box anymore but it's 150 grain excuse me 115 grain bullet traveling at 1300 feet per second at muzzle carrying a muzzle energy of around 432 foot-pounds so it is pretty powerful and the box that you're looking at right now is a 40 caliber round um, it's my carry or my round of choice for carry and it's one of the most powerful rounds I've found and it's a 155 grain bullet traveling at 1195 feet per second at the muzzle carrying 492 foot pounds of force at the muzzle so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and sum up the experiment today and the penetration as far as the protection rounds were concerned it went in this order we had first the 45 it penetrated the least uh, then the 9 millimeter and then the plus P plus 9 millimeter and then finally the 40 S and W round that 40 penetrated the most and it's it's quite interesting because you know, I, I often hear people talking about the 9mm, well, the 9mm will penetrate more than a 40, but that's not necessarily the case. Um, even the very powerful plus P plus round in the 9mm did not penetrate further than the 40 S and W round that I had. Now again, I'm going to say that that Winchester Ranger ammunition that I was using in the 40 is probably about the best ammo that you're going to find for the 40 S and W and um, I think it's kind of proven itself now it's not to say that penetration is the only thing to look at however that is a very important factor and um, in an upcoming video that I'm gonna do I am gonna talk about different calipers um, talk about what defines stopping power and how these all relate to one another and basically what I would say is if you are carrying a 9mm or a 45 ACP, 
I would carry plus P ammo in it to make it more powerful. Um, I really don't believe that the 9mm, just the standard ammo, penetrates too far. I have heard that before, but I really don't think that's the case. The plus P plus round that I fired, um, it fragmented quite a bit. Um, it still had better penetration than the standard 9 and the 45 ACP, but I think it fragmented enough that if you had to use it in a self-defense situation that I doubt it would over penetrate. Now of course paper doesn't accurately um, doesn't accurately reflect how shooting into a, an actual bad guy how that would look and that was the, the intentions. Often different questions about penetration come up. For example black bears uh, what would you use? Out of those three rounds, or rather, out of those three calibers that I sh sh shot today, I would definitely have to say I would use the 40, the 40 caliber, because it over-penetrated, or not over-penetrated, but it penetrated more than anything. So definitely when it comes to bear protection, um, you would want penetration, and the 40 would win, at least given the current ammo that I've used. And no, a handgun is not the best defense against a bear. I mean, you're going to want to use a rifle, um, probably even a 12 gauge with double up buck. Okay, that's another story altogether, but that question does come up, and I guess it's a valid question. But, again, from round to round, there's a huge difference between ballistic performance of the bullet. So, when we're talking about what's better, 9mm, 40, 45, uh, you really got to take a look at the, the ammo that's being used. Now, had I had some plus P ammo, I think that um, the energy does, the kinetic energy would be about 4, or excuse me, 530 in plus P 45 ammo compared to the 40 that I used today at 492. So I would suspect with plus P 45 ammo, it would penetrate about as much, if not a little bit more, than what the 40 did today. So you could say that being that it's a bigger bullet then in that case the 45 would be a little bit better for protection and but in general as I'm going to talk about a little bit more in my upcoming video if it's not out already is that when you you are looking for a, a round that's a better stopper generally you are going to look at the kinetic energy at the muzzle energy because the higher the, the number generally speaking the more stopping power it's probably going to have and even still, I mean, let's look at the 40. Even though it outperformed the other rounds, it's not to say that it's greatly better than the other rounds shot. It is better, but it might be very marginally better. Um, I would not feel unsafe carrying any of these rounds. And that's about all I'm going to say on it today. Um, stay tuned for my other video that actually is going to go into more detail of the various rounds. You know, what you should choose for carry. And I'm going to help you along with different things like that. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.